Somehow, I forgot to address it in the actual video itself, so I'm going to stick this on the beginning. I'd like to wish a happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Canadians who may happen to be watching this video. Hope you and yours are having a great day. Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And Tutankhamen here has gotten himself into yet another mess. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, my friend. Hmm, indeed. I have a sneaking suspicion we're underneath that pit that, uh, leads up to the main chamber. You know where we climbed on the spiky things in order to escape the very first time we took control of, uh, Tut over here? What do you do? <laughs> I'm just waiting to see if this thing goes back down, because I have a feeling, given the fact that there are three of us, that this is going to be a timing thing. No? It's just that it seems a bit more straightforward than usual. There's a tunnel right there. Fucking hell, camera, turn to the right! A tunnel that doesn't go anywhere. Well, I'll try. Totally by random, that worked out very conveniently. I don't even have to wait for any of the uh, occupied ones to pass by. Oh no. Now, is that because I died, or because the time limit went by? Let's find out. It's because I died. Come on in, guys. The water's fine. Lava, not so much. Don't do that. Is that a crown? Am I going to complete chapter four right here and now? You don't have to wait. There's one right here. This is a little bit surreal. Oh. 
piss. That was a cutscene, too. Couldn't affect that once uh, the thing kicked off. Overachiever. I was not overly surprised, let's say, to receive a comment saying that the creation myth that uh, Anubis gave us bears very little by way of actual resemblance to the Egyptian creation myth. You're the one who's been annoying me lately. You have the audacity to stop the ray. I may be dumbstruck as to how you've done it, but I know how it will end. You will not be a problem anymore. Activate the ray again. Master, I can activate the ray again, but... No! This cannot be! The crown has disappeared. The ray can't be as powerful as before. No matter. It will provide enough protection until I find a solution. <laughs> Sit of basket, of all people. Just doing the uh, ominous stare thing. Ah, delicious. Where even was I? Oh yeah, beating up the, uh, the pharaoh. That's right. I gave him what for? You got the items that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. You got the Sacred Crown of Set. You got the sixth stolen Abydos jewel. The curators of Abydos Museum will, Museum will be very pleased to see this. What up, it's your boy. Outstanding work, Sphinx. You have the last two Sacred Crowns. Oh. You should take them to Anubis, but be warned. Since your quest is nearing its conclusion, once you've departed for the final battle, there will be no turning back. If you have any unfinished business, you should take care of it before you visit Anubis. Good luck, Sphinx. Oh! You got the 70 Onyx Scarabs that have only collected in the castle of Uruk. Well, okay then. I guess I'm not going to have a problem with, uh... starting the Halloween series on time after all. Knock on wood. That's right, I definitely wanted to do that. Gotta get to the Bedouin outpost and get my, uh, Ankh pieces assembled.
have to admit I'm kind of confused. I th thought I saw a block of text somewhere on the Steam page that said something about the seven crowns of Egypt. I'm doing the math in my head, but I'm not sure it lines up. Let's see. Helion crown, the sacred crown of Heliopolis. Set crown, the sacred crown of Set. That was a voodoo doll. I saw that. You got a gold onk. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, it's making gross noises because you're making adjustments to a beetle, that's right. Wait, I can't be heading off to the end game now. I mean, I certainly can, it's their game. They can decide when it happens, but. Shit, I never even got the, uh, the big wallet. I suppose that's probably something you, like, win in a minigame or something, rather than something that just gets given to you. case I should probably be uh, back to Abydos and hand in those jewels if nothing else that will give me something to ponder I guess I kind of assumed it was going to reach a point well you know when uh, in a game you uh, you can get an item by like buying it somewhere but they eventually force you to get it through the storyline. You know, like if, say, one of those fancy monsters in the shop that costs $900 dues was the... You know, so someone who wants you to bribe them with one of those monsters. But, uh, the only way to get it is with the big wallet, is what I'm talking about. Hmm. Ah, it's good coffee. I'm just sitting here with a frown on my brow, trying to think of what I need to do.
I was kind of hoping her sister would just show up here, standing next to her. But it's these two's destiny never to speak of anything else except that one original conversation. I mean, I get it with the... the guy over here who's forever talking about his wife. And he's a quest giver. But, uh... It always strikes me as odd in video games when they do that. At least it did when I was a kid. I always really enjoyed when a game updates even the, like, random NPC dialogue throughout the game. So it seems like the townspeople are gossiping about the latest events. Greetings! You've recovered another of the jewels? Boy, have I. Astounding! You've recovered one of the stolen jewels! Wait, there's no description on that? Oh, a parasol. Once belonged to a famous Abydosian nobleman, and is quite valuable to those seeking shade from the hot sun. You got the parasol! Now over here... Parasol! Ideal for providing shade from the sun. I'm just checking. It could have been there. You don't know that. I guess I'll just hand them all in and then go take a look. The stolen jewel of Uraeus. The city can never thank you enough for this. No, oh, thank you. The stolen jewel of Wenny. The last one. Awesome. You've restored the dignity of the city. The jewel collection means so much to us. We can never enough... What? We can never thank enough for what you have done. And there's the gold onk piece. I wonder what happens when I talk to him now. I wonder how I've managed to get lost in this room of all damn places. I've only been here about 70 times. Ownership of this jewel is said to enchant those who carry it with unfailing honesty. The legendary bandit Sipta donated this jewel to the museum before turning himself in to the authorities, confessing to over 200 criminal acts. This enchanted cobra-headed jewel was discovered on a battlefield protruding from the chest of a fallen gang. Hardcore. Used to deliver the fatal blow in a war that left no survivors. Nothing remains of the tribe who forged it. I think we had that one. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yes, good. I didn't have this one. When Koryang began many centuries ago, this jewel was discovered deep within the bowels of the deserts. Convinced of greater wealth deeper down, the king who ordered the excavation caused the deaths of thousands of slaves. Only after these innocent lives were lost did he concede that no more treasures had emerged from the depths. Oh, jeez. Thank you, thank you so much. Now that all the jewels have been returned, my conscience is finally free of guilt. You are incredible. You're welcome. I'm still not clear on why the jewels were stolen, to be honest. 
I mean, they were just lying around in chests in the castle. It's not like he was using those to power machines. So what do you say? Thank you so much for recovering our jewel collection. How am I doing with this? There's a few spots still open. Up to like two monsters I got from the store, or that I could get from the store. Oh yeah, and achievement unlocked. Pride of the city. Return all of the Abydos jewels to their rightful place. Two more in here. here. Five monsters left, and I don't know if I'm carrying any of them. Almost a bowl. Often found in Heliopolis, the almost a bowl's defense mechanism sees it shrink in order to present a smaller target for any attacker. A unique breeding mistake led to one hand being replaced by a third horn, almost an evolutionary anomaly. I don't think that's how breeding works. But, uh, there, I did forget to, uh, Check that before. Hmm. In any event, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy when we proceed into the end game, I guess. Later. <laughs>